Hey guys, it's me, Christine, and I'm coming to you today with another cooking tip, and we're going to start with a bowl of water and some potatoes. So, sometimes I want to peel some potatoes. I can't find my potato peeler. Uh, the knife takes too much potato off of it sometimes, and somehow I happened along this little trick that I wanted to pass along to you guys because it is really cool. So, you just take a regular butter knife, not a sharp knife. Well, you can use a sharp knife, but I just use a butter knife. You put your potato in water. Let me move these ones out of the way. Put your potato in water and you just scrape the potato. That's all you do. You just move the potato around and you scrape it. Oh my god, it's like magic. That peel comes right off. You're not losing a lot of your potato. And really, it doesn't take a lot of time either. Now, I'm getting ready to make french fries. So, I really don't want all this peel off, but I want to show you guys. Look how cool that is. That just scrapes right off. And it may not have to be underwater the whole time. That's just how I do it. I think it comes off easier, and then it helps rinse the potato a little bit. And I hate peeling my potato with my knife because, like I said, I lose a lot of potato like that. Some people are better at it. They can skin that skin right off there and not lose too much potato. Look at that. Now I know it's not completely off. See how that scrapes right off there? Yeah. Look, I didn't even know this. I've been cooking for many years and I just discovered this a couple years back. And I was like, why didn't someone tell me this? I have been wasting so many potatoes, peeling with a knife, half my potatoes gone, and I've got to cut more potatoes. Sometimes you don't have more potatoes to cut. So there you go. Rinse it off. I could do a little bit more scraping. But y'all get in your kitchen. Experiment a little bit. And you'll find out new things you never knew. How to peel a potato without a potato peel or a sharp knife. You can also use this method to let your kids help out in the kitchen if you don't want them using a sharp knife. Hope this helped you. If it did, please give me a like on my video. Don't forget to subscribe to my page. And come back to see more tips and reviews, and just fun things that I do. Bye, everybody.